Hello everyone, my name is Anita. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, in this video, we will see how to build the neural network with Keras and TensorFlow for image classification problem. These are the steps that we are performing on this problem. So, first, we are importing the library. So, here we are importing TensorFlow as a TF. Then, from TensorFlow, we are importing Keras. After that, we are importing Pandas. We are importing NumPy. And after that, we are importing the matplotlib. So, after this, for any model, the first step is to read the data that we will be used as an input. So, uh, so, here we will be using the fashion MNIST data set. So, this fashion MNIST data set uh, is having this type of images. You can see here, total 9 images are there. And each can be classified into one of these categories. So here you can see that all these are the total 10 categories from 0 to 9. So this data set is having the total uh, 60,000 images are there in the training set and 10,000 10, images are there, there in the testing set and the image is of uh, the 28 by 28 image and which is associated uh, with the label from the 10 classes. So 10 different classes uh, are there. So we will see uh, here. Now you can see here. So from Keras dot data set uh, what we are doing? We are uh, uploading or the downloading the data into this variable that fmnist. After that with the help of this load data method we are loading data and we are dividing our data into training and test split. Here we have divided. Now I want to see the length of my training data set. So you can see 60,000 is the length of my training data set. And after that, I want to see the length of the testing data set. So which is 10,000. And now you can see the shape of the uh, training data set. So 60,000 uh, comma 28 by 28 means there are total 60,000 images in my training set. And each of the size is 28 by 28. So for each image is of size 28 by 28. That means what? 784 features. And each represent the intensity of each pixel from the 0 to 255. So here you can see that x train of 0. So each image uh, intensity is from the 0 to maximum is 255. So after that, I want to see the uh, like how that image looks like. So with the help of this, plt dot match so i am just seeing that image so you can see this type of image is there which is the image of ankle boot now uh, before creating my data to uh, to the neural network uh, like i want to normalize it so normalize the input data uh, which uh, speed up the uh, training so that's why we are normalizing it uh, so the you can see here we are normalizing our training data set so x train divided by 255 so here we are like uh, uh, the we are uh, what whatever our data value is there so that pixel values are there so now that pixel value is range uh, in between the zero and one so if we divide it by two five five so this is how we are normalizing and now you can see that x train of zero so all the values are in between the zero to one now the next step is the uh, creating the model. So for creating model, we required the uh, input, input, uh, input, uh, what we can say, the input data. Then we required that hidden layer and after that the output layer. So here we are creating the sequential model. So in sequential means what? So uh, actually layer by layer or layers are going to stack into the sequence. So we are using that sequential method. And in sequential, the first layer is what input layer. So here we are passing our uh, image as 28 by 28. So we are using this flatten method. So flatten is for converting our 2, 2D image into the 1D image. After that, we are using the dense layer. So here we are passing that how many uh, like total how many neurons you want to use. So here I want that 128 as my neuron. So again, it may be a vary. So it depends on the user. So this is not like fixed number that you can use here. But I am using 128. After that, here 
So you put the activation function. So here I want to use the ReLU as activation function. Then uh, the next layer is my output layer. So in output total 10 classes are there. So we have seen here total 10 classes are there 0 to 9. So that's why I'm passing here total 10. And there I am using that activation function as a softmax. So here we are using softmax function. So it is giving the 10 different probabilities. And from that we are picking the max one probability. So you can see uh, with this model dot summary here uh, you can see the summary of the model. Now I want to compile uh, the model. So for uh, we are using model dot compile and for this we are passing these three parameters optimizer so here i'm using stochastic gradient descent optimizer after that loss equal to first categorical entropy then matrix equal to accuracy so this i'm using now after this i want to train my model so here you can see that the model dot fit, fit method we are using so model dot fit and we are passing x train and y train and here i have mentioned epoch size is equal to 10 and now you can see that for the first epoch the loss is 35 and the accuracy is 87.56. So this accuracy is increasing like uh, from epoch 1 to 10. So for the 10th epoch, the accuracy is 88.96. So this is what training accuracy. This is the training loss and the training accuracy. Now, uh, 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 I want to evaluate my model. So I am using model.evaluate method and for this I am saying uh, passing the x test and my y test uh, values uh, from this testing data set and you can see the whatever values are there which is there in the test underscore loss and test underscore accuracy and i just want to print those values so you can see here loss is equal to 37 percent and accuracy is 86 percent so this loss and accuracy is on the testing data set and earlier loss and accuracy is on the training data set so after this, the next is uh, I want to make the prediction on the data. So here you can see that with the help of this plt dot match to x test of zero. So you can see the image is there. First image is there, which is the image of anchor boot, and you can see for testing data uh, shape. So in testing, total 10,000 images are there of 28 by 28. Now I want to predict uh, uh, predict the value or the predict the image so here i am using model dot predict method and for this model dot predict i am pa uh, passing that x test x test is the that whole total that of uh, total 10000 because i want to predict for all my testing data set uh, data set so that's why i am passing this and now in my predicted underscore value total 10000 uh, images are there so here you can see that if you see the predicted value dot shape so total 10,000 uh, records are there and that 10 is what so categories so total 10 categories are there or the class labels are there so this is that now uh, from this total uh, 10,000 I want to see that first one or the zeroth one so that's why I am using predicted value of zero so it is giving me and the array of 10 values so here 10 different different you can see 10 different different probabilities are there so from 0 to 9 probabilities are there so you can see at a uh, 0 0 index here you can see that 0 index is corresponding to the t-shirt 1 index is corresponding to trouser 2 index is corresponding to pullover so likewise here we are getting the different different values or the index so from this, which one is the highest? So this one is the highest that uh, it is near about the 9. So if you carefully just look at this array, so here this 9, is 9 number is the highest one and minimum is the uh, minimum is the 1. Okay. Now here I am using this np dot argument, argument max and I am passing this predicted value. So this total array I am passing and from this I want the maximum number so obviously we are getting this as a 9 so here you can see that we are getting 9 so on on this is the uh, index so on 9 you can see here on 9 what is there ankle boot is there so this np dot argument max is which can tell you 
which index is highest or it say that ninth index is highest and which is the class or category of anchor foot okay so this is how we are predicting now you can see i have just provided here the class label and after that for that class label i have passed that uh, max value so here that at at zero what is there so total total uh, 10 probabilities are we are passing over here and from that this argument max is picking the larger one and uh, it, it is predicting the class of that so at 9 you can see at 9th ankle boot is there so it is predicting ankle boot so which is the correct image you can see this is the image of the ankle boot and now after suppose we change uh, that image so i want to see at 1 what is there so you can see this image is there now here again i want to change that yeah now you can see again it is giving the array of 10 different different probabilities and uh, you see again the 9 1 is the maximum one but but that index is present at 0 1 2 second position or uh, the second so you can see here from this class label again you can see that it is giving that 2 so in class label what is there at this 2 second index 0 1 2 so pool over is there so you will see the output and you can see the our output is pool over that means our model is predicting the correct values so this is how we are uh, using this now what i want i want to pl plot the graph for accuracy versus loss and this accuracy is here i have considered that training accuracy and loss so you can see that the training accuracy uh, and loss are on the y axis and number of epochs so here total 10 epochs i have used so these are on the x axis and now you can see here this blue color is uh, for the accuracy and red color or the orange color is for the loss so initially loss is near about 36 percent and it is goes on decreasing and the uh, accuracy is 87 something and it is goes on increasing to 88 point something so this is how we can say that the our loss is decreasing and model's accuracy is increasing so our conclusion is uh, with this code we can see that the throughout the epoch our model accuracy is increases and our model loss is decreases so this is a good since our model gains the confidence with its prediction so i hope you like this particular video so please do subscribe my channel if you have not already done and share this video with your friends thank you